Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry alongside Scott Carter. We're actually indoors, we're not sweating, and we're not going to tell you about what we're watching at practice. We're going to talk about an actual football game, the 2013 season opener between the Gators and Toledo, Saturday night at the Swamp. Scott, Gators won 23 season openers in a row, it's the second longest streak in the nation, I believe. Yep. Uh, what do you see from this team and health-wise? There's some things going on. Uh, the lineup won't exactly be at full strength, I don't believe. Yeah, I mean, obviously the Gators are going in this game a little short-handed at tailback, most notably with uh, Matt Jones still sideline with that viral infection. They expect him to be back from Miami. And then, of course, we got news this week that Chaz Green, who was projected at starting right tackle, is going to be out. And they're still going to be without Antonio Morrison at linebacker and John Halpio on the offensive line. So, you know, they're not at fully a staff, I guess, going into the season opener. But, you know, they've, they've worked without most of those guys all camp. So they have guys in place who uh, know what to do, is carrying out their assignments. So overall, it's a pretty relatively healthy team coming out of fall camp. It's the uh, second year in a row the Gators have opened the season against a team from the Mid-American Conference. Last year it was Bowling Green. This year it's Toledo. What can you tell us about Toledo a little bit? Well, Toledo, they came, they won nine games last year, played in the uh, famous Idaho Potato Bowl, which I think that's the first time we've been able to mention that on here. So they come in here, you know, like I said, nine wins, the Mid-American Conference team. Florida faced the same uh, challenge last year against Bowling Green at home in the season opener. It was a close game for quite a while until the Gators put them away late in the second half. And, you know, they're, they're looking at it's going to be hot out there Saturday afternoon, another probably 90 degree day. So you look at maybe Florida having some advantages there. But Toledo, they have a good quarterback in Terrence Owens, a really good running back in Doug Fluell, and then a receiver who had 1,000 yards last year, Bernard Reedy. So those, that trio has the Gators' attention. And uh, DJ Durkin talked about that yesterday. This is his first game as defensive coordinator. And I mean, they know going into this game that, you know, Toledo's got some weapons to uh, score some points. That running back rushed for 1,500 yards last season. So the middle of that Gators defense is going to be tested. We know the strength is the secondary, but what about the defensive front? What about the linebacker situation? Well, up front, Florida's, you know, they go in with Jonathan Bullard and uh, Dante Fowler defensive end. It's going to be their two sophomores starting on the end. So, you know, you like those guys, the way they really progress through camp, very talented. Middle linebacker without Antonio Morrison, Michael Taylor's projected to play there. And defensive backs, I mean, that's really going to be, I think, the strength, at least one of them with this Florida defense. They're very deep back there, uh, and they're going to be challenged in the passing game. Toledo is a high-tempo team. Uh, Will Muschamp said they probably will look to get about 80 snaps, 85 snaps in this game. So the Gators' defense is going to be busy. Offensively, Gator fans are going to be looking for maybe some more development from the passing game with Jeff Driscoll and some of those young receivers. That's headed in a positive direction from what we've seen in, in practice. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be an area that a lot of fans are, as always, they're going to be watching the starting quarterback. They want to see what Jeff Driscoll and uh, his young receivers do in, in year two under Brent Pease. And, you know, just talking to Pease this week, I think he – he even said that they have this experience, they have a knowledge base that they didn't have going into last year's season opener. Demarcus Robinson's added some talent there. And, you know, even though Matt Jones is out, you, they really like the way that it's kind of a, a, a trio back there. It sounds like P said they're going to go with the hot hand between Valdez Showers, Mac Brown, who will start, and then Mark Kernan. So, you know, it's going to be a, a look a, by committee at tailback and then We'll see what Driscoll does in the passing game. I do expect them to maybe take a few more chances than we saw consistently last year. Some questions that everyone has been asking will be answered Saturday. We'll be there to talk about them after the game. For Scott Carter, I'm Chris Harry. Thank you for joining Gator Zone.